point where you kind of know where everybody, where their favorite shot is on the floor. Like, you obviously know where he's at the top of the key. That's his, that's his stroke. And he kind of, in your head, and everybody work, operates from the best. Um, I would say, yeah. But, uh, like, the majority of the time, it's just a, a read that I'm making. If I'm driving in the middle, he, uh, Javante knows to rotate to the top. So it's just a simple pitch back for him to take a wide open shot. So, and Nas, everyone knows, Nas likes the ball either on the right block, left block, or the high post. So um, I would say, yeah, pretty much playing with them. I just, I just better read. What was that atmosphere like post game when y'all just made that same comeback? I mean, was, was that a feeling you'd ever felt before? Uh, no, I actually that was like my first ever like comeback win, and to do it on the road was a really big achievement for our team and for myself because we know that going into the postseason and just going deep into conference play that everyone's going to uh, just start doing uh, scouts um, and they're going to do a lot more scouting on our team and for them to see that we're not going to let up and that we're not going to give in is a, a great confidence booster for us and it shows what type of team we are. That's three straight on the road after going a whole year without winning on the road. What have y'all done differently in those three games that you think has helped turn that tide? Um, we're just staying within ourselves, just playing within ourselves and just trusting each other and knowing what each each player can do and just being able to play as a team. Like when, I don't think anyone's playing selfish basketball. And uh, to be able to win with this, uh, such a young team, it just shows that we can only get better and just continue to move forward. Last year, Will used to always say that you could only win a couple of ways. Now the last three road games have been very, very different types of wins, kind of the dominant performance at Ole Miss, overtime in Arkansas, and then what happened on the weekend. Do you feel like this team can just win a bunch of different ways, and, and how valuable is that if, if you can win that way? Uh, it just shows what type of team we are. Like, obviously, um, the Ole Miss game was kind of like the second half. We came out and just took over. Um, Arkansas, we kind of had a, a big lead and kind of let up, and that shows that we're able to like, not – not uh, not give in when teams are going on runs. And obviously, uh, the Missouri win was, was crazy because we were down 14 with three minutes to go. And like to be able to focus in, dial in, and just know that we have to make shots. And everyone's putting in the work to make those type of shots. It's just a, a great feeling, though, that we're coming together as a team and that we're able to win. And even if we're not making shots to start the game off, we'll still find a way to pull it out. Y'all haven't had to play from behind a lot, but the other night, uh, Skyler was telling me after the game that y'all had to, it, it was different. How did, how did it feel different playing from behind? Uh, I would say it felt different because we weren't um, necessarily used to being down going into the late part of the game. And like to be down kind of felt not overwhelming, but we knew that we weren't supposed to be down and we, like we weren't playing our best. Uh, best game of basketball, but somehow we just came together as a team. The huddles were a little hectic at times with Coach Wade, with myself, um, Skyler and Javante. We just kept everyone grounded and knew that the game wasn't over with three minutes to go and we just came out and made plays. Now that you've got this game over and past, what do you all have to do to keep going on? I mean, it's a long, just one third of the way through the conference schedule. Yeah, uh, I would say we, we pretty much have been through everything that we need to go through to understand that we can't, like, we can't come out with a, a lackadaisical approach to the game. Like We have to come out every game. Houston was a game where um, I would say we got beat in the glass. Uh, our guards, well, we weren't um, necessarily hyped enough to play defense. And uh, Coach Wade has been uh, just harping on defensive uh, principles and telling us that we have to approach the game defensively first and offense will take care of ourselves because we have so much talent. And I would say like we just, we've experienced the, the greatest thing or the worst uh, moments that we could possibly experience. We were down on the road, we came back and won at home where we're learning how to keep a lead and just keep building on it. And Arkansas, we were in overtime, close game and we got stops. Now it took a charge on uh, Daniel Gafford late in the game. and. That was a momentum changer. So I, we've pretty much been through it all. We just got to stay level-headed, stay grounded, stay humble as a team, and the sky's the limits for us. That comeback, have you ever been a part of something like that before? Never. I've, I've never been a part of it. Um, 
it was it was a great feeling though to see Emmett, a freshman, uh, miss the first free throw. It's hard enough to miss one free throw. Knowing you get to make uh, miss the first one and have the confidence and the, the will to make the second one, to to see him do that was a a big that was a big time play. What did you say to him? If you want to share that. Um, I just said just. He was standing at the free throw line. I, I walked up to him and said, hey, we practice this all the time. And I don't know if anyone saw it, but I was there with him in spirit. I saw it. Yes. As he was uh, fall through. He, yeah, he missed the first one. I walked up to him and said, hey, like, we work on it all the time. He took a deep breath, walked back to the line. I just took a step back. And as he was doing his routine, I did it with him. And he made it. I'm not saying it was me, but <laughs> I'm trying to stay as locked in as possible in those type of moments. So. Um, it was just a great feeling. Well, Good go, to see him have that confidence. But what's going through your mind when y'all go to the bench after Skylar Mays just rattles off nine straight points? All of a sudden, it's a five-point game with a minute and a half left. Um, I would say it's our game. Like we were just, just speaking positivity into the huddle, saying it's our game that we're not out of it. We just came down 14 with three minutes. A minute we could score and 10 layups if we wanted to, but. Just knowing that we have the, the confidence, the poise, and the the wherewithal to win that game was a huge step in the right direction. Is it tough to move on? I mean, when you lose a game, you say, "Hey, let's move on." You know, um, I, I know you, you probably, yeah, obviously, you got to you know, win some more, but uh, you got to put it behind you. Is that was that hard to do yesterday and today? Um, no, it was it was obviously another stepping stone for us, but. It was just another game. At the end of the day, no matter how you uh, talk about it, go about it, it was, it was just another basketball game. It just came down to the wire. And like I said, for us to do that is a, it shows that we're not going to give up and we're going to keep playing to the end. And teams are going to have game plans against us. Some might work, some might not. But no matter what it is, we're going to fight to the end. How, how do you think you got in the hole? How do you think you all got? I know they had some incredible shots and people hanging all over. But did you just think? We just weren't making shots. Like, um, I would say three of my shots, Nas, we watched film earlier, um, about three of my threes were literally in the rim and popped out. Nas, same thing, shot from top of the key, in and out. And we missed a ton of layups. Like uh, Marlon, he missed a layup. I missed the, the game winning layup. Like there were many plays that we usually make, but we had to make sure that those, that wasn't the reason because every game isn't going to be perfect as far as offense. but. Late game, we, we kind of came together. We talked about the defensive part, and coach put us in the press, and we were able to execute uh, our defensive press, and that led to Skyler getting off and scoring nine straight points. Obviously, he hit the, the two big threes in overtime.